The bad and my favorite part about this week in sports. I can't think of anything I liked better than the story of the Payette baseball team this week. Of course, famous alumnus Harlan, Harmon Killebrew passed, and the team, many of which had met the man during his namesake festival in Payette, came out and didn't just win two games at state. They no-hit a pretty good South Fremont team, then survived, then scored rather three in the seventh and two in the eighth to beat an even better Bonners Ferry team, eventually earning state runner-up for the second straight year. Pirate coach Tracy Bratcher said this week, Harmon Killebrew was certainly looking down on the tournament. Another former teammate of Lance Armstrong has said the seven-time Tour de France winner doped to win those races. Tyler Johnson told 60 Minutes this week just what he told a grand jury previously, that Armstrong and every member of the famed Postal Service team in the early 2000s took performance-enhancing drugs. Armstrong tried to deflect prosecution efforts as belated and a waste of government resources, but it just keeps getting worse for Armstrong, and I can see a day in the near future where his legacy will be tarnished, along with all the hope he created with those seven alleged false victories. This week's Oppie on the college baseball diamonds on a rainy day. The Clemson Tigers and Davidson Wildcats couldn't play baseball, so they competed for laughter, putting on a skit show of human bowling, hunting for mitt-eared deer. Never heard of that species. Human curling, I think, was my favorite one. Awesome to see the entertainment and the sportsmanship between the two teams when they could not play baseball this past Tuesday out in the Southeast. <laughs> Love that video. I must have watched it six times. Almost 460,000 views on YouTube. Don't have to wait for the Winter Olympics to get your curling in, apparently. No, that was terrific. <laughs> yeah, loving it. All right.